Hello gang, welcome back to The Long Dark. This is our interloper series with Hunk, and it's uh, slightly been uh, ignored, shoved off to the side, while we've been faffing about in Stalker with Freya with the new update, but there are a few things on our plate that we want to get done. If we can. Alright, uh, where's some cooked stuff? Oh, I've got some cooked stuff left. Here we go. Alright, uh, not much cooked stuff left, so we will be cooking shortly. But, first thing on my list of things to do today is we're on the lookout. See if we can't find, at some point here, a pot. I've got a recycled can for making water, but recycled cans take forever and aren't the most efficient way with this new update so I'm in the mood of having a pot I want a pot I need a pot so we're going to go look for pots that I left behind because I'm pretty sure I've left some somehow somewhere possibly uh, okay well it looks like this place was not one of them well let's check the sink yeah nothing all right out of luck here If we can make it to Miss Anthropes, we'll check there. I honestly can't remember if there's a pot there or not. And I'm too lazy to go check the footage to see if there was. And the four arrows, well five if you count the one on the bow, knocked. Wolves over there again. Grab some sticks. Nowhere near warm, but not intolerable. Sky's changing. Travel could become a bad idea Very quickly. I don't like this weather change looks like it might just be becoming fog, but even then that's not exactly safe Wolves are still a major concern at any period in time, but with the temperature being warm out the winds down I'm not gonna complain too heavily. We're gonna just strike over for misanthropes Just want to circle out and avoid the wolves Got deer here do we want to down him? Do we want to hunt a deer? There's a wolf around. We'll see if we can't shove him into the wolf. There's not. Hunting could probably be a better option than a pot. Potentially. Well, let's just strike out for misanthropes and we'll consider. Oh, there's wolves over there. Let's let's try it. I have. I don't want to waste matches though. If it was sunny, I would probably consider it though. Well, I do want to hunt another deer and get some deer hides stored up to be making another pair of deer skin breeches. It looks like another deer over there. Hard to see through the fog. Um, I really don't want to waste matches lighting fires. Uh, I'd rather wait till a clear day when I can use the mag lens. I'm not exactly privy to using all my matches. I'd rather save what I have right now on me. I have eight. I'd like to make this eight that I have last some time. We'll think about it if the weather clears up before evening to be sunny. We'll think about hunting that deer. We'll think pretty heavily about it. Is it the new rate at which I'm processing food satiate my hunger? Because I can't stay active enough to uh, sleep long enough to recover it. Um... Eat half for now. Well, actually, you know what? Let's eat enough of it to use it as bait. Need be. 22 calories. I'm comfortable losing 22 calories to a wolf if it saves my bacon. Full condition. Temperature 19 degrees. Possible deer hunting opportunity on the horizon. Misanthropes ends up not having a pot. There's the possibility of checking out uh, jackrabbits depending on time of day, weather, and temperature. I'm okay losing a little bit of condition to temperature because I can get that back pretty quickly. Just dislike the fog pretty heavily. Hopefully soon enough we'll be leaving Coastal Highway behind and it's rampancy with blizzards, but we're still another two days out on that, I'm afraid. Two or three days. It's going to depend on how long I can devote to crafting each day without fear of cabin fever. 
Second wolf skin coat, even if it doesn't get me to full 100% always warm, I will get me to the point where warmth de degradation throughout the day is tolerable enough to be withstandable, especially if I can gun towards some new your skin britches at the same time. Just want to be careful cresting this hill, listen for the wolves. Sounds clear, but still not capable of sight lines. No birds going off though, so we might be safe. We're safe enough. Alrighty. You have a pot for me, misanthropes. No, you don't. If Jackrabbits doesn't have a pot for me, that leaves like what, one house? And if that one house doesn't have a pot for me, then there's no pot for me here in Coastal Highway. And I want a cooking pot, dang it. I want a cooking pot. Taking all the water. Well, in an effort to warm up, we will harvest this towel for 10 minutes. And we'll go check the weather. So I strike right on over to Jackrabbits and check it out. Oh, this fog got really bad. I mean, I didn't expect any less, but still. Never ending quest for sticks. Yeah, see, late afternoon it's 22 degrees, another 7 degrees puts that at 29. That's survivable temperature. We could also try some beachcombing. We're near the effectable area for beachcombing. I could see. It is really dense fog. We'll strike out for it. We'll see what we can see on the way over. If there's anything worthwhile. Anything washed up in the how many days I've not been out here? Anything at all? Looks like we're out of luck. I don't see anything. Ooh. Check around the backside too if we wanted, but I really feel like there's probably nothing good for us. I mean, it's worth a shot, but... I don't see much of anything. Alright, let's just see if Jackrabbit has my pot. If not, I guess we'll just be heading back to cook up some food and... This fog lifts shortly, we'll hunt that deer. We can get a fire up in time. The mag lens, provided there's no wind. Looks like this fog might clear out enough to allow that might. If the deer is still there. Alright, Jackrabbits, bless me with the pot that I've forgotten. Please. Dagnabbit. 
Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely be leaving to find a pot. Um, I can eat stuff to get recycled cans, though. Uh, now I've ate everything. So this one recycled can is probably the only can left in all of Coastal Highway. We may be leaving sooner than expected. It is a good thing I got all that water cooked up before the update then. Alright, well, let's just utilize the pastime function till I'm warm enough. I'll check the weather. Still nasty. Alright, well, we're heading home, I guess. Not much else out here. I'm basically just trying to survive till I can get that coat so I can leave. That's really the long and short of everything I'm doing here right now. Is prepping to leave Coastal Highway behind. I think we'll shoot for survival in Mystery Lake for a while. And after that we might go towards Milton. If I deem it acceptable risk. Still want- Shice! A wolf. He heard me and then didn't hear me. And... Heard me. He did hear me. Well, I've got bait to drop. We could try and hunt another wolf if I want. We could try to lose him. We can try and lose him. I don't really want to bounce around with shelter. Oh, he took that rabbit. Okay, uh, you can have that rabbit. I'll go this way. I might come back for that rabbit's hide later, but you can have him. I'm not interested in your shenanigans. Not in this fog. In fact, I have to track home through this fog is annoying. I'd rather it clear up. Come on, let's get a miracle and have some wind blow this out. Blind, blind. I don't like it. Not one measly bit. Wow. It's just going to be a long haul walk, isn't it? Hey, we might be home. You tell me I missed all the wolves. Tell me I'm home. Ah, oh, diggity dog, I have my directions down. Look at that, through the fog. This is what map knowledge looks like right here. Not deviated from the course, so one iota on the way back. And we made it. We made it back. Well, I might be celebrating a bit prematurely. We still have Wolf Central to navigate. Blindly. And we know there are wolves in the area. Oh, listen to that. Some wind's coming up. Get a thunk. Twenty-three degrees. We can actually survive outside for a fair amount of time at that. Of course, it looks like now the fog might want to clear, doesn't it? Well, taking the hide and the guts off that we could bother with the meat, but I don't think it's wise. Um, I guess we'll go inside and warm up, check on the hides, the whole nine yards, and weather still looking good, we'll probably come back out and start cooking some of this meat. Um, if we
we can get a mag lens off before sundown. Let's start. What? So that's fifty-four percent. We'll leave him. Take it, and we'll harvest it. Where's stick? Because a stick burns longer than a torch, believe it or not. Getting weak. Alrighty. I don't have any more food of any kind in this house anywhere. At all. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting more can get started. What's this at? 86%. So the afternoon took 2%. So could be done in time. Still not good enough for cooking. 31, nearly warm in here. We can pass time for a little bit in here. Nearly sunny. My head feel thick. We give it a little bit longer, we might be able to get a mag lens off. Yes, we can. We can get a mag lens off. Start this fire. Let's go. I kind of find it kind of interesting how the stones got placed on existing campfires from the update. I feel like this campfire is in what would now be considered an invalid spot. Alright, 45 minutes on the fire. Let's get this ruined moose meat on here. And have a two hour fire. We're gonna need it. I have plenty of coal to add. Okay, we're warming up. I can bust these pallets down real quick if I go get my hatchet. Sixty-seven percent. We ain't got a whole lot left in this big old clunker, and it's not worth wet stoning. The only thing it's good for is to make a new one, harvest it out. That'll take an hour and fifty-seven minutes to do that. Let's grab some more firewood while we're here. Let's grab some coal or some reclaimed wood, whatever we've got in the locker. Um, we have plenty of torches to harvest up too. At sixty sticks, we'll take a uh, ten sticks. We'll take. Eight coal. We'll leave the reclaimed wood and the fur for now. We'll harvest those torches later. Next blizzard we get or something. Alright, can we add coal? Seven more minutes. Alright, um... All else was standing. I can't break these down. We're gonna get a storm. I can probably try and place a fire here. It would still be sheltered from pretty much every direction but directly sideways. So let's add a couple of sticks. Let's grab a torch and make a fire. I don't even need to take a torch. Why did I bother? Got a mag lens. Oh no, mag lens is down to nothing now. Grabbing torch was not a bad idea. Get this fire started. And we'll get this meat cooking. That is the beauty of ruined meat. You can cook it back up to full. I don't want to cook up too much of the moose meat though. Um, because we still have deer meat to cook. I don't want to cook too much of stuff up at once. And then run the risk of it degrading too quickly as well. Alright, we're going to have to load plenty of sticks into this guy too. Get him up for enough time. Alright, sticks. 
Let's get 55 minute fire going on you. Let's get some of this moose meat. There we go, and let's eat because we're hungry ourselves. And having two fires will keep us warm. Oh yeah. Sun's setting, so we got that we got that fire off with the maglens just in time. Alright, let's add the coal to this one. An hour and fifty-three minutes, plus some temperature off that. Fourteen more minutes. I wanna bust these up, but I can't take the time to do that just yet. Not till I can get this fire up on the time as well. I got an hour and eleven minutes on these guys. Where they're cooked. So yeah, cooking does take far longer, but I can do four pieces at once, which balances the time out. I think it takes, I think it took about a 25 to 30 minutes originally in the accelerated time menus on the old cooking system. Go through one thing of moose meat. Um, and now with four cooking at an hour and 15 minutes each or an hour and 20 minutes each, something like that, you know, it balances out to be just a little bit less time than before with it all. All sorts of meat. I just want to bust these pallets up. Two minutes. There we go. Alright. You're good for an hour 50. You're good for an hour whatever. We need to add more though. Chuck you in there. And you on there. 57 minutes till ready. Hour 25. Uh, these would burn if I take uh, if I do the pallets. So let's pass time until ready on these guys. You're not gonna let me pass time until ready. Why well, won't let me pass time until ready on ruined meat? Let's grab some of our rancid venison. 36 minutes, 27 minutes, 9 minutes, 2 minutes, good enough, 31 minutes each on these, yeah we can, we can handle this, alright, 50%, Okay, why didn't it place? That's probably a bug. Alright, hour 47 on that guy, 31 on that. Let's take this guy off real quick. I don't want to pick it up, dang it. Alright, uh, can. Let's throw my can on here. Fire going a minute. So this has 23 minutes till ready. I want to bust these pallets up. Eh. Alright, all of this done be cooked now. Alright, let's get fresh meat cooking. Alright, whatever's raw on me, drop it. I don't need the cooked meat, so let's just walk over here and drop it. Alright. So, hour, two minutes, and an hour, 56. Let's add some sticks to this. Plenty of time on you, plenty of time on you, and bust. Cooked. Cooked. And cooked. Beautiful night. Let's get some water going. And this fire still has some time on it, but not enough time to fully cook stuff. I got sticks to pad that with, so let's use the less cook time item. That guy, this guy's got some time left too, so let's use that as well. Alright, what am I carrying? Just the cooked... I thought I dropped all the cooked meat. Oh, I just picked all this stuff up, right? Yeah. That's not my bait. That's my bait. Okay. i just drop my bait right here for now. 
And I now have 12 more pieces of reclaimed wood to add to things if need be. Looks like a storm will be coming in shortly. Actually, I probably should have just drunk it straight from the menu, but whatever. <laughs> We've got plenty of food to last us the next couple of days. Gotta add another stick to this. Pray this wind doesn't get too bad. Twelve minutes, eleven minutes, thirteen minutes. So the eleven minutes is the less one. All right, uh, we need to eat now. Eat it. Hey, we dodged uh, the gamble. All right, so pass time on you. Take you. Pass time on you. Okay, I didn't need to eat you, but okay. I could have canceled you, but wasn't really worth it. And take you, and we're now in a blizzard! Ha ha! I've done just in time. Let's take. Oh, I can't take a torch from you. I can take a torch from you, however. We're just gonna take torches from you to get reclaim some of this fire time. I don't have any food on me, do I? Oh, I have plenty of food on me. Let's drop you all. Take a torch from you. And take a torche from you. And step inside. So how late is it now? Oh, just past midnight. All right, uh, torches. What do we? What do we end up with with our torches? Oh, this pour on these last few. These are all just be harvested. So you can reclaim some fire time. You're basically pulling sticks out of the fire doing this. Anyway, let's drink a little bit to get back up. I know I left my can out there, but I don't care. I'll pick it up on my way up. Good morning, and go for 10 hours, even though we won't make it. And endure a blizzard. Maybe we will craft in the next episode, anyway, because that's it for this one. 95%, not quite. Anyway, that's it for this episode. This has been Interloper. I've been Lonely Wolf. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until that time, stay safe and stay warm out there.